Hi, this is Laura from Pearl Soho, and I'm going to show you all how we like to hand wash our sweaters or other knits for that matter. Um, you will need a sink or basin large enough for whatever it is you're washing, some rinse free wool soap. Um, we have here Pearl Soho sweater soap we're going to use, um, a tablespoon, and at least two clean dry towels. I like to have three, um, maybe even four if you're washing something very big. Um, okay, let's jump in. Okay, as you can see, I have water in my basin. This is about one gallon of tepid water. Um, our sweater soap recommends one tablespoon of soap per gallon. So here we go. Oh, ooh. Okay, so I want to make sure the soap fully dissolves in the water. Whoa, going crazy here. Got a tidal, pail, tidal pool. All right, it's looking dissolved to me. Next, you're gonna place your knits or sweater into the basin. So here we go, I placed it in. Now you're gonna need to nudge it along a bit and encourage it to be submerged. So I'm gonna just add some gentle pressure here. Get all these bits underwater. Okay, and you know, of course, always remember to not agitate your knit when it's wet. That's how you cause felting. But now that it's fully submerged, I'm gonna walk away for 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna let it soak for 15 minutes because I wanna make sure that the sweater fully absorbs um, the soapy water. If you have a particularly um, dirty piece of knitwear, feel free to leave it for longer than 15 minutes. Okay, see you in a minute or 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes, and as you can see, I have drained my basin. Now, when you're draining your basin, if you notice that your sweater or knitwear is still quite dirty, feel free to fill the basin back up with tepid water and let it soak in there without soap, um, and then you know drain it again. And you can kind of do this cycle as many times as you feel necessary, um, and then, as you can see, after you drain your basin, your sweater is still gonna be quite damp. So my next step is to expel some of this excess water. Um, I'm gonna bundle up the sweater a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is that when I remove the sweater from the basement base, basin, I wanna make sure to not like pick it up by the shoulders or like accidentally pull a sleeve. When knitwear is this wet, it really needs to be handled kind of gently um, to prevent felting, but also to prevent any strange stretching out. So I'm making a little bundle here. I'm gonna just kind of fold it over like that. I'm also doing this because it makes it easier for my next step. So I'm gonna pull this out of the basin a little bit. All right, and now I'm gonna just gently squeeze. I'm not twisting, I'm not wringing. I don't wanna do anything that would cause felting. Um, I know I keep bringing that up, but I think that's a big point people worry about when they're hand washing sweaters. So, okay, I feel like I have gotten that excess water out and next step is to lay this flat to dry. Let's move on to that. Okay, I have transferred this little bundle of a sweater over here onto this nice, clean, dry towel, which is laid out on a nice flat surface. Um, I'm gonna unroll this um, little sweater here. There we go. And now I'm gonna roll this up in the towel. Now, while I'm doing this, a fun little tidbit. Um, if you are washing your knitwear in a machine on a gentle or delicate cycle or whatnot, you can still use all of these drying um, steps for your the drying part of your um, washing a sweater. Um, okay, so here we have a nice a nice roll the sweaters in there, and the next step is to apply 
weight. And again, this is to try to help remove any excess water. Now I am going to just press really hard. I have very fond memories of watching my grandmother walk up and down rolls of towels like a balancing beam. My colleague Whitney loves to use her knees. Um, since we are on this video, I'm just pushing with my hands. <laughs> um, feel free to rotate your, your little bundle. Um, and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, don't wring it. Don't twist it. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so after you've, you know, lost breath doing that, um, it is time to unroll this towel and then we're going to transfer it onto another spare dry towel for the final step. So let's do that. Okay, so don't be fooled. This is a nice um, dry towel. It's not the same soggy one. Um, I swapped them out and once again, I am going to lay out this sweater here, unfold it completely. And this is the final step. Um, we just wanna lay this piece out um, and then let it sit and air dry. Um, when you're laying it out, you can take the opportunity to kind of, you know, maybe it got stretched out while you were wearing it, or, or maybe, you know, there's the fabrics twisting or something. And this is a good opportunity kind of like zhuzh it back into, into shape how exactly how you want it so that when it's done drying, it's good as new. Um, so yeah, um, it can take quite a bit of time for a sweater to dry. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that. That's how we like to hand wash our sweaters.